What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And then uh, also let me know what you guys think about this third person, you know, mosh pit setting in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Me, personally, I am loving it. I am currently level 34 in the multiplayer, and I've done all of it in third-person mosh pit. So in today's Call of Duty video, we are going to go over the settings you need to change to best optimize your experience in the third-person game mode in Call of Duty. So here we go. Now, we toggle over to settings, and there are a few that are third person only so these are going to be the settings that you need to focus on to you know help your gameplay while playing in third person so we're just going to go through each of these categories and see which whatever one of these apply now the sensitivity on here it can help you for your camera however you want to go to sensitivity multiplier click on that and then you can see third person sensitivity multiplier. Now 1.0 is normal, that means there's no changes. And if you go a little bit higher, that means you're increasing the sensitivity for your third person view. So for me personally, I increased it to 1.2 and I've loved it there ever since. Now going down here, are there any other, doesn't look like there are. Let's uh, double check our advanced settings, shall we? Do, 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 do. Okay, so your input dead zone. This is going to be your next one. So input dead zone. Now this is for your controls. Now if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, this is for your analog sticks, for your movement, you know, your thumbs. Now for this one, I put zero down for the minimum. That means if I barely even touch my thumbsticks, it'll move. And I put it down to 0.9. That way I don't have to, you know, turn the entire way. It'll stop at, you know, 90% and that'll give me the full rotation. And then for the trigger, I went down to 0 0.05, just barely even touching the trigger will uh, let me aim and shoot. So that's, you know, really good for running around, running gun type of play, play style. And you can just, you know, hit those triggers as fast as you want. Now next up, let's see if there's any others um, on this one. Nope, okay. So we're gonna move down to graphics. So graphics is a big one for third person. Reason being is right here, the world motion blur and weapon blur. So you can see the differences here on the right side of your screen. Whenever you're moving around, it would make everything around you blurry except for your, you know, your weapon. And then whenever you do weapon, when uh, you move around, it'll make your weapon blurry, but not, you know, the world. Well, if you turn both of those off, you can move around and it not mess up anything on your screen. It makes things extra clear and there's no distractions. So make sure both of these are turned off. Now, as far as the field of view, this is going to be another big one. So you have field of view for first person. And then you have field of view for third person. So check this out. It shows you right here when you go to the normal field of view setting that if you're just sitting at 60, which is normal, it'll make your screen a little bit more zoomed in and you're not being able to uh, you know, look around as much. You're in more of like a tunnel vision, as you will. Um, it'll be harder to see things left and right of you. So what you do is you increase this all the way to max. That way you can see everything. Um, but that is completely up to you. If you like having that like tunnel vision to help you focus on what you're trying to shoot, that's fine. But if you want to focus on what you're shooting and also know everything that's around you at the same time, you want to increase this field of view to max. That way, not only are you able to shoot the person, but you're also able to see, you know, beside you if someone's, you know, coming up from behind or, you know, trying to flank. Now, the third person view, it only goes up to 90, but that's your max. So max it out to 90. That'll be your best option for third person. 
Now you have some of these third person, you have ADS traction, I just kept it on ADS. And then third person camera movement, I just kept it on 100%. Now um, the next part, do, 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 um, doesn't really have anything to do with the third persons. It's just going to be settings that I personally um, want you guys to look at. And one of them is up in the controller setting. Turn off the vibrator. Turn off the vibration. Like every time you shoot, it's going to vibrate. Every time uh, someone throws a grenade, it's going to vibrate. That will distract you. I know some people like it just to get that sense of realism. But let's be real. You don't want to be distracted. You want to focus on getting those kills and winning that game. So turn off that damn vibration. That way you don't get, you know, distracted. And that is it um, for the normal sensitivities. I went for eight for both. And then I did increase the uh, ADS sensitivity to 1.1. Um, but that is it for the third person settings. Um, the big ones were the dead space, the field of view, the sensitivity. And that's pretty much it. Now for extra ones, I turn off vibration. That way I don't get carried away. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's it, everyone. If there are any other certain settings that you use for third-person mosh pit, please let me know in the comments. Um, I know that just those alone, like the weapon blur, the world blur, like the sensitivity and the field of view, that completely changed my uh, outlook on this third-person setup. Um, I love it. And here we are. We're already level 34. Today is launch day for the uh, multiplayer. And I hope you enjoy. I'm just going to do a little bit of gameplay and get you out of here. So don't forget to hit that like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But enjoy. It looks like we are playing some TDM, some Team Deathmatch. So here we go. Oh, and the, uh, it's already started. Okay. So for the sensitivity, you can see how quick my character turns right and then if I you can see how quick he turns so that's why you want it up higher Oop, there's a UAV up here we go uh, behind me dang behind okay. oh behind me again damn all right. So there's one up top. Yep, they're up by 10. Where was that from? Oh, behind. Damn, dude. Constantly getting hit from behind. There we go. Reload. Couldn't reload in time. Run. Took out their UAV. Loading. Tried to hip fire him. Got your back. Change your max. Changing back. 
I saw him, but he's way too far away and he's behind a truck. Enemies deployed a counter UAV. There we go. And they're in the window. Woo! Switching max. Oh, another one beside me. Dang. We're getting hit hard. Yeah, they're about to win. They need five. Behind us, God dang. That person just got a triple kill. Cause we're all looking the same way. Ah, GG's. GG's. Mission failed. Nothing like a little solo queue to end the video. But alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. That was a little bit of third Sad person face. mosh pit. And uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone. Peace out.